Hello and welcome to Ryan Make, where today we're going to be building a better mouth trap. So what is the goal for these masks? I mean, we use them to cover our mouth and our nose to stop both droplets and micro droplets from coming out of my mouth and being suspended in the air. But when I'm breathing out, I can't really see what I'm breathing. Using the humidifier in the back of his head, as you can see he's a pretty heavy breather, so much so that he's actually breathing out of the back of his head. But like I said, we're going to be building a better mouth trap here on Ryan Make. And I have my friend, Manny Quinn, and he is sporting the hurricane model of the maskless mask. Or as I like to call it, take your breath away. Clearly, I should not quit my day job to start singing. Now, Manny always complains about wearing his mask. At least his stays on, right? Well, that does seem rather painful, doesn't it? Okay, so that's time for Manny to test with his mask on. Now, as you can see, through his mask is pretty well contained. It's actually mostly going over the top, so I imagine Manny's glasses would be pretty fogged up right now. But how is this mask without a mask going to even work? Well, the big thing that we need to do is we need to find a way of sucking the water droplets out of the air. And what sucks better than a vacuum? So I ended up getting some of this idea one day when I was soldering on a different project and I noticed that the fume extractor was pulling some of the solder fumes away from my face. And I thought, why can't we do the same thing for a mask? But pulling the fumes away, or in this case, the micro droplets away from my face is only half the problem. They have to get caught somewhere. That's what traditional masks do. They hang on someone's ears, like Manny here, but they can cause a lot of discomfort because it can be hard for them to stay on your face. And they can cause you know, ear aches and just general headaches because it is hard, especially when you miss with the staple. And so the mask in this case catches the micro droplets, but in our case, we're not going to have that. So we're going to use something different that is actually extremely common. Every single time you open a packet of food with one of those silica packs that say, don't eat, you're looking at a desiccant. And what a desiccant is, it's a material with a high surface area that bonds with water and traps it out of the air. And I've kind of walked through the two different parts. We're going to use a, a fan or a vacuum and some desiccant to accomplish this new mask design. But let's take it to the whiteboard and really break this down a little bit more. So to understand how we can truly get a maskless mask, we need to understand how a regular mask works. So it's covering the person's nose and mouth with enough layers of filter, so that way when they breathe out of their nose or their mouth, the droplets of water get stopped by the mask, but the air continues. But this only works if the seal is perfect. That's actually why you see people with fog glasses, because the seal isn't perfect. So how do we get to the maskless mask like I have right here? Well, what it is effectively is a fan that's pulling air from around your nose and mouth down into the take your breath away mask through a desiccant. The fact that the fan is pulling the air means that the seal doesn't need to happen. It is actually perfect because there's the negative air pressure pulling the air into the fan. And all of this moisture laden air then goes into this thing called the desiccant that we had just talked about. But what is it? It's actually a material that's sort of like a special type of sponge where you see a sponge in your kitchen, it has all sorts of pores and can hold a lot of water. Well, a desiccant is a special type of sponge-like material that can pull the water from the air. But sometimes it's just not enough to talk about something. We have to see it in action. So the build for this ends up being pretty simple once we have our parts printed. We have our motor mount, our motor, and then impeller and impeller cover. So the big things that we need to do first are feed the leads for the motor in and through the motor mount. Now we have our motor inside our motor mount, and the next step is to mount our impeller onto our system. So we have that all configured up. 
I'm going to let this dry for a little bit before I put the rotor cover on and then we'll spin this up. Okay, now Manny is wearing the take your breath away mask. It's positioned pretty high because he doesn't have any shoulders to hold the mask up. We'll turn on his breath and then we'll turn on the mask. Okay, so he's breathing pretty heavy. It's going over the mask as you can see. But now when we turn on the mask, let's see how he does. Okay, as you can see, it's actually sucking in pretty much all of his breath. There's a very little amount that gets and escapes. And as we can also see coming out of the bottom, there pretty much is no moisture anymore. So our desiccant beads are actually doing a really great job. I'd say that this is the great first prototype. Okay, so we're testing the hurricane mask. So we gotta get Manny's breath going. And this right here is only 80 watts, and it can go up to 1,000 watts. So, and we got current limited. Okay, so now we're testing at what's hopefully going to be full power for the hurricane mask. The wind is terrifying. Jeez, he's practically taking up off, off the ground. What the heck? <laughs> that was amazing. Successful test. So if you thought this project of blowing down to solve a mask issue was interesting, stick around and subscribe to this channel for my next video where we're going to be blowing up to solve a different issue. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Ryan Make. Leave your feedback in the comments. I'd love to hear it, either on this video or for ideas for future videos. And if you have a desire to build some of the things I have in my videos, I'd say check out my Instructables page. But until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll just be here figuring it out. Thanks.